All right, welcome back, everyone, to episode 30 of John and Eric's Epic Adventures into Skyrim. And uh, we did it. We hit episode 30, so that's pretty freaking awesome. We are here in Iverstead. There we go. Uh, we have a quest to go help someone deal with their true love, right? So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're also probably going to take out the Barrow, uh, since we're right here, and we'll just do it for fun, right? We'll use the XP. Go in with our, our silver weapons, eat the crap out of everything. And uh, the Barrow is right over there. So that's where we'll be headed in just a moment after we take care of this. So let's see, she's right over there. All right, what's up? Are you the one sent by Mara? I mean, I was sent by another woman who told me to come on behalf of Mara. Yes, what's I troubling you, child? Impossible. Bassianus wants to marry me. I think I love him, but he wants to move to Riften afterwards. My father won't allow it. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. My mother's not any help either. Um, oh, I'll talk to your parents oh, about thank it. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to have someone around who understands. Sounds like his father. My daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on you. Wah, wah. Dying horses. Um, your daughter asked me to speak to you. I'm sure I know what this is about. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to meet town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for Clement. Wouldn't stop talking about him. Now, if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. It will pass. Why do you want her to stay so badly? There's not much left. Used to be a good-sized town. The folks have been moving to Riften for a while now. If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverstone? Hmm. You think she'll get over it? You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. And like always, the boy lacks any kind of spine. He needs some convincing. A little push, and this would all be simple. Hmm. Hmm. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, no reason. It's no wonder that people are leaving town. It's like, you need to leave. Like, there's there aren't enough people here. You need to leave town. Okay. Now, let's see if we can find uh, a clinic, right? Yeah. I was like, wow, okay. There he is. On your way up to 7,000 steps again, Clinic? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Hey, you! Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Um... Oh, do we... Well, do we have to speak? With the mother? Yeah, I guess I guess it's requiring us to do that that we have to talk to her before we can get his uh, response. Can I help you? Yes. Just there must be another pilgrim on the way up. He's to right Hyde there Rock too. Park. No other reason to pass through here. Uh, your daughter, who and your husband, who were sitting oh, right next to you, asked me to talk Probably to you. Probably something about the men. We all wish we had our problems. I don't tell my husband. Bill but I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastred to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. I only wanted to speak to him for a moment. Well, that stops now. Everyone else does. Oh, that that still didn't uh still didn't go all the way through, huh? So even if it means if they just snuck out of town together, I'm waiting for the quest update. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take Fastred to Riften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. Ugh, okay. Sure, <laughs> They're all so bitter about people leaving. It's so funny. We're gonna go probably with the first person we can find, if we can find Clinic, because now, now he's missing in action. Oh, there he is. Okay, right, he's... He's a fisherman. That's what he does, right? I wish I could make my deliveries more often, but the road's getting dangerous. 
I heard you lost Fastred, and you definitely have not been crying, I can tell. Oh, Fastred. I'm not sure what happened. One moment she's smiling at me, the next I can't even meet her eyes. I'll bet Bassianus would know what's going on. He understands women. Uh... She probably appreciates assertive men. What did you call me? I mean, you should... You should be bold. You should go talk to her. Wait, you mean I should just tell her? Tell her how I feel? Yes. Ismir's beard, you're right. No fish was ever caught by staying away from the shore. I'm off to see her. Okay, he's thinking about it. He's... He's thinking about it. 7,000 steps in deep. Next there we go. Closer to the ground. Well, time to gather more supplies, I guess. No, no, you need to go talk to her. Go. Go talk to her. Go talk to her. There we go. Threaten him with healing magic. Okay, excellent. Pastor, I have something to say to you. Clemic? What is it? I don't want you to leave Iverstead. Why not? Because I would miss you. But I thought you only cared about your fishing. What good are fish if you have to eat them alone? Oh, Clemic. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I need you to pitch in a little more around here, dear. Oh. I help. I do this. Okay. What else wow. I know. These people are screwed up, man. Let's Oh. Wow. Okay. I'm glad I'm glad we don't live in this town. So what we'll do is we'll uh We'll take up some of our equipment and we're gonna we're gonna raid this barrow. Right? Wow. <sighs> okay. I don't think there's anything to loot out here. So just just to quickly show everyone who's joining us a little bit more about our build. Uh, we are a Nord two-handed uh, barbarian. We have Eric here. He's our best friend from Rorikstead. Our name our in-game name is John Rorkson. And, uh, you know, decent speech, lock picking. Um, we're mostly invested in 200 and heavy armor. We're only level 32, but we're, you know, we're chugging along, right? Investing in the smithing. We're, we're trying to uh, boost all of our skills. Decent healing. So let's give Eric a healing aura. And we will give ourselves a healing aura. Perfect. And, uh,. It seemed like my spells were pretty cheap. Is there something I'm perhaps missing? Yep. No? No, we have all of our correct gear. Okay. Um, we will quickly do a stew. A oh, raw beef? No thanks. I don't think we're going to need a beef stew. We should be okay. So we'll just do a uh, Hardy's Hunter stew. Also, I boosted the size of the, the notifications over in the top there. So it'll be a lot easier for people to read because accessibility is important. Hmm. Anything else? No. Oh, the lights are on. Maybe somebody's home. I'll take that. I hope that when I die, I don't end up as a shambler. Leave this place. Leave this place. Had to deal with ghosts in the past, Leave. so. We ain't afraid of no ghosts. Or suffer what? What do you say? Oh, okay. Well. Oh, nice. Illusion level up. You literally just did this entire place. All right, then we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to try and speed run it to see if I can do it faster. Than you. Okay, so don't do that one. Is it? And then this one. Maybe... No, okay, it's the other way around. I don't know what I just kicked, but... 
There we go. Okay, they're all open. Uh, we'll go through there in just a moment. Careful about this. Oh! Eternal slump. Easy. Hmm. Oh yeah, we're using um, Winter Sun so we can perform rites on on these people too. So I might have to move that over just a little bit to the right. That's okay. What we got? Soul Gem Fragment, Potion of the Phantom, Ooh. and nothing else really valuable. Hmm. So it looks like, I'm just gonna summarize the entire thing. It was uh, somebody, an adventurer who came in and then for some reason they were possessed to think that it's the first stage. And they believed that basically they were haunting the place. So that's always fun, huh? Let's see, anything else here? No, I don't think so. But we took the journal. And, uh, see, oh. Ideally, we're trying to get our lock picking all the way up to 90 so we can start doing master locks, but barely survived. Had Tarjo and another guy. Whoa. Uh, must go to bed now. Jay, have a wonderful night. We are going to need to find the key for this. I see he's fine. Just let me know. Whoa. <laughs> okay, my uh here, have some gold. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. If you see Rada, tell her that Narfi misses her and to come home soon. Very soon. Soon. Okay. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. Tell me more about it. much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. I won't go over there ever again. Um, do they haunt your town? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? It's true, with the incredibly hospitable populace and a haunted barrow, that's probably why this town is dying. Um, actually, you should take a look at this journal that we just found. Let me see that. I can't believe this. It was all just a fabrication of this Windelius character. I can't believe we were so stupid. I mean... Well... Least I can do is give you something for taking care of him. If you won't accept it as a payment, consider it a gift. A sapphire dragon claw, interesting. If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your step. It's a long way down. Oh, do you right have any here. beef stew? Take a look. Please have beef stew. We are, he has one. That's, you know, it's a step in the right direction. Anytime, friend. So the sapphire claw. Will allow us to open that door. Yay! The Darfy's reaction when we just walk up to him in our full Nordic gear, right? Oh, that was priceless. So that should be good. All right, Sapphire with an S claw. And it is Butterfly, Owl, Wolf. Easy. Oh, okay. Wait, was the middle one already an owl? Yeah, I just wasn't paying attention. Noise. All right, Eric, get ready. We're gonna go kick some undead butts. Yeah, all the lights are lit in here too, which is kind of weird, but. Uh, maybe Dylan removed that mod, I don't know. Is this a gate that shuts? It is. Right. I 
if something saw us. Something sees us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, no fair. Here, one more. Piece of cake. All right, now I believe it's this lever, right? And any other like loot in here? We should take advantage of. I don't think so. Nope. Oh yeah, this right. Uh, mage armor on self. Yeah. Oh, okay. Eric has the bash perks. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Take that. Um. Oh. No, 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 Eric, help! Water is cool and refreshing. I guess it washed some of my blood away. There you go. You're all set, Eric. Okay. So let's see, master? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. How do we like... Okay. Oh, that was Eric. Eric, come on, man, you gotta be careful. Someone there. Anything else this way? No, it doesn't look like it. I mean, some books, but... All right, what we got? What we got? Oh, 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 oh. Um. Oh, come on. Eric, you're on fire, bro. Eric, oh, he doesn't care, he's fine. I gave him some viruses, so he should be fine. Easy. Never seen a follower just knock down someone with a shield like that? Oh, he has Bouncer. Is uh, just this to show you right, really sir. quickly what his armor is. Problem? How can I help? Um, so he has Bouncer and basically a bunch of enchanted gear like I do. This is our mid-level gear. Um, he also has a nice magic resist cloak that he's gonna keep for a while. This thing, which is super amazing. Um, a healing potion that apparently he Let me know never uses. Need because he always has really good health. No! Back to sleep. Oh, that just scared the crap out of me. Oops, okay. I was not trying to do like a, a super attack like that. Anything else? Uh, yeah, we'll go there in a minute. Um, nope, no, I think that's it. Oh, cool. Took this guy out. How do we stop it? There we go. Eric, you are so ridiculous. Running in. Uh oh, this guy looks, looks pretty tough. Yeah. Back to sleep. Get <laughs> right back in there. Ooh, uh, that's not really worth it. That's right, those are... Wow, okay. Holy cow. Too slow, Eric. Heat, take that. Yeah, I don't really wanna to have to pick an expert lock. Um, I mean, we're healing slowly, but so we should we should be okay. Mm. Come on. Yeah. Well, all things considered, 
Ain't nobody got time for your BS. Oh yeah, this thing. So these all rotate. Uh, whale. And the second one is a snake. This one's a whale. This one is... Oh, it's already on a snake. Oops. First, I thought I Dang it, Eric! Something. I guess I've had my fill of it. Oh, so that, look, that reduced it. I, uh, did the wrong one. Go back in here. And it's this one. Maybe ten. Let's see how that goes. Let me know if there's anything else you need. And oh no, it's going the other way now. That's right. When you get off of it, it goes the opposite direction. All right, that one's an eagle, and that one's a whale. So this one's an eagle, and then. Nice. I thought there were more undead down here. There's definitely loot. Ugh. Yoink. And, oh, that was kind of weird. It's a little bit jittery. Anything back here? What in the heck? Draugr. Can't tell if there's anything down here. But now I'm covered in water, so... <laughs> Come here! Yeah, I'm, I see that thing. Oh, they have arrows. Oh, rocks! Ah! I, yeah, I completely missed that. God, I'm definitely gonna die in here. <laughs> The end is near, undeniably. <laughs> Can you imagine that's how I lose my character? Rocks fall, everyone dies. I mean, honestly, it wouldn't surprise me that much. Okay, that's definitely a trap. Is there anything else? No, so we'll just kind of... Oh. Alright, Eric, try not to... Hurt yourself on these rocks here, please. <laughs> That's fine, Eric. Still love you. Here, we, uh, we're a little bit thirsty, too. So. Yeah, it's looking a little bit better. It's still a little bit too far down, but... I'll, I'll deal with that later. Kind of fine-tune it. Into the depths we go. Take that. How are you doing, Eric? I don't know, it doesn't show me. I don't think I like where this is going. No, I love where this is going. So, Eric, I need. Oh, is it gonna. Here, hold on. It just feels right somehow. Um, okay, I have a task for you. What is it? Please get inside the room. Got it. Oh, he's still at like half health. That's that's a problem. Um you still need me to do something? Yes. Armor. Follow Good. Me. I'm ready for anything. Okay. What was that? Alright. Let's put on uh where was that potion, right? <laughs> Two handed? Ha! Bow. Alright. How do we get up there? What? Where'd it go? Easy. Nope. Level one? Come on. Give me a challenge. They're all just level one. They're all scrubs. Here, you can take care of that one, Eric. Over here. 
Where's the next one? Okay, here's one that's slightly difficult. Nope. Barely even a challenge. I wonder what the ancient lords used this place for. Let's see. Sometimes there's loot like on the paths here, so you have to, have to kind of keep an eye out for that. Let's see. Up, oh, a uh, trap. All right, let's come on. Target it. Fine, fine, I guess we're looting those. Oh. Nice. So what we got, two necklaces of water breathing, not bad. Scaled boots of strength. Some soul gems, okay. It's not, you know, exceptional, but I'll take it. We will take it. Cause the uh the dragon claw is worth something, right? So I kinda wanna see what's down there, but then we'd have to find our way out of down there. Oh, then we walk up, see mysterious writing on the wall that we feel as though we recognize, but we're not sure why. Can we make it? Eh. Hey, I made it! That was pretty good. Got a flawless ruby out of it. Eric, did you see that jump? Look at that jump. Cool. I totally knew I was gonna make that jump too, right? It was easy. <laughs> uh. So let's see, anything in here? Not really. Prince of Persia moment. Yeah. Spooky cave. Going through the spooky jittery cave. Oh, see, this is what I was saying. Is sometimes there's stuff on the ground, but. Hey! Okay. Stone doors are so cool. All right, and we're back. So that was pretty simple, right? Take some of their firewood. We always need more. And uh, goodbye, whatever your name was. Didn't even bother to ask. I think we managed to do that in like 20 minutes. 20 minute adventure, in and out. We're gonna stick Eric in the weeds, unfortunately, but that's okay. And. <laughs> Every time we um, mount our horse, he summons one, and then it, like, despawns. So, it's kind of funny. But what can you do? So, yeah, we're not blocking the path. Okay. Easy. All right, we're... What we'll do is we'll sleep the night, and then we'll ride out and uh, go to that location for Cleric's file spots. <laughs> this is it, right? Our shame. Just make sure. Yep, this is where Barbus told us to meet. So I guess we'll go inside. I, I really have no idea what to expect here. Like, I don't know if we're about to enter combat or, come on. I'm assuming no. Okay, I guess we're entering combat then. Crap. All right. Um. Eric, healing aura. No, get back here. It's like the the lowest level of armor I can give right now. Or healing, I should say. Ah. All right, interesting. Ooh, 
okay. Flawless Garnet, Imbued Human Remains. We break those down for enchanting. And then a strange scroll, which we have learned to not cast scrolls if we don't know what they are. That's one of the things that they taught us at the Mage's College. Ugh, oh, we're slightly detected. Ooh. Oh, there she is, okay. Oh my god! I figured we could probably tank that, but she was level like 50. She's a vampire? There's vampires here? Ah. Uh. Take this, because it's enchanted. But... All right, that's deeply concerning. We can try taking on vampires. Let's see, we both have our healing auras up. Um, all right, we're gonna do a, how about a venison stew? And we're definitely doing a beef stew with this. We're also, cause I don't know much about vampires. We're also gonna take bone first scene. Oh, I felt no effect. Maybe we should start harvesting uh, some of those wolves. For the bones, right? Said it was scary. Uh, what class of magic should you main? Hmm. Conjuration's pretty good. I'm actually a big fan of it, even though we're not playing any- What the hell is that? A downward trap? It's kind of neat. Okay. Ooh, there's a good chance that we might run from this. Just saying. You a vampire? Oh, but she is. Eric! Oh, that was their thrall. And... We in combat? No. We perform RK's rites on them, too. Purify their soul. Have I played, um... Aldrinari? I've never heard of it. 169? Nice. Search. Yeah, we'll take that. And those. They had nothing. And you? Yeah, they're just, like, living down here with... Oh, they must be, like, uh, thralls, right? Restoration of the perfectly valid school of magic? Ah, that's right. We have... Well. We do have Sunfire. So we can use that in a pinch. Um, another Wavajack mod list? Nope, I've stuck mostly to Wildlander. Alright. Everything... Oh my god. Everything so far has been going pretty well. Any of these valuable? Not really. The chests aren't even locked. Guardian Circle... Fancy. And an Ancient Text. What's that? Random pheasant on the ground. Savages. Okay. Let's take out the vampires first. I don't think I like where this is going. Oh my god. It's so big. Alright, you're a vampire. You die. What? Did someone hit her with, like, a bow? Someone there? Oh, that was kind of weird. Alright, we'll grab all this person's stuff, though. These are pretty cool looking. Focus! Oh! I knew it! I knew I saw someone! Okay, how do we get down there? there? Making sure there's nothing over here. Viking helmets don't have horns? Yup! Ow! Uh, oh, I missed! Are you freaking kidding me? These aren't that tough. 
Ugh. But imbued goat head? Sure. We love imbued goat heads. They're our jam. They are the jam to our peanut butter. That's kind of a weird setup. Any good books? Terrible taste. Okay, what do you got? This person, oh, this must have been like a thrall when we killed someone. All right, that's the way forward. We'll do a very quick run through. Um, Cause I saw a room like back over here, I think. Oh yeah, we'll do some rites. Okay, you life? Fair. It feels like Whatever floats your goat. Cool. Hmm. Chest. Finally, a locked chest. I was gonna say, like... I guess they just never thought anyone would come in here to steal their stuff, right? I mean, when you're a vampire... Everyone follows your rules. Yeah, we'll break that down and learn it, right? Oh, we're over encumbered. It just feels right. Sure thing. Erica, please hold all of the junk. Hmm. Oh yeah, I looted those. I was like, where did I get these? That, 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 and then doo -doo -doo -doo. I don't think he's gonna switch to that, but we'll find out. Yeah, he prefers bouncer. And we don't have to re-enchant it. Luckily, the uh, it seems like that enchantment only goes off when it's triggered. So we don't have to restore it very often. Very helpful. I mean... Is there anything else we need? I wish it went off more often, but... Oh my god, a superlative Magicka potion! Instantly restores all of your Magicka. Great. Nothing else in here? No. Moving right along. Should I be using a silver weapon against vampires? I should. Now I can kill them in one hit instead of two. Oh, look. We, uh... Hanmar Shame. Okay. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, if we end up fighting like a master vampire... Ah! Someone Oh, wait, 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 wait. Give me your soul. All things considered. Yeah. Give me all your eggs, too. Uh, Karugo, thank you very much for following. Let's just get rid of this. Oh, and we can't get rid of them. Can't dispose of them. Is it even worth collecting these? Like, I, I don't know what ingredient is common enough that you can combine them to make potions, but... And then... What the hell? Oh, okay, it was like... We hit a dead end. Oh, Eric's taking his payment, right? Thousand gold. And we First can break down a few of those way. pieces of gear of course. that he is holding. Which one of these is like the most worthless? Conjuration, and then, yeah, they're all conjuration. What else do we have here? We'll probably break this one down too. It's the only one, so we'll, we'll break it down. And uh, yeah, that should be good. Let's get going. The other ones will probably just... Oh, crap. What did I just... Oh, wow. Black soul gems, I think. Nice. So, we're going to learn that. And we're going to learn this. More and that should be fine. Uh. Oh, we're going for the silver weapon, too. Whoa, Eric. Be careful, man. Yeah, but, you know, gotta call it. All right.
We're still in com- no? No, we're not in combat. I hear com- What the fuck's going on in there? Is there some- maybe there's someone we should save. What the fuck? Oh, what in the fuck is going on here? Oh, it's Barbus. They're attacking Barbus. Whoa! Who is this? As long as I keep attacking Barbus, though. What the heck? Yo, and we're out of stamina too. I completely missed that. Um, anyone else? Eric, you okay? Holy crap. Got pretty lucky with that one, huh? Wow. Form some rights here. That, that's, that was a master vampire? <laughs> Oh, human hip bones. Yeah, we love those. Okay. I mean, <laughs> Barbus tanked the crap out of that master vampire. Look, we got a freaking glass war axe. All sorts of random crap in here, huh? Lots of fruit. I don't know who Eric was fighting. Oh, this, this person, right? Yeah. Some, some random raw horse meat. These must have been offerings at the temple there. All right, vamp, oops, we didn't want that. Uh, yeah, everything. Give us those and that and those. We're, yep, healing poultice. We're fine, we have a healing aura. I'm, I'm gonna loot them last, right? That's the goal, it's onyx, nice. Wow, like no armor, all right. What did the Master Vampire have? Y'all ready? Oh my god, so we have, we're gonna go from the bottom. Vampire dust, poison, imbued dragon bones, so we can learn from those. Ebony heavy bow of exhaustion, worth 4,000 gold, does 90 damage. I don't know how that compares with ours. Let's, let's find out. Ours is 113, so we would have to refine it, but now we don't have to make this ourselves, right? Which is pretty good. Shock arrow, like enchanted arrows, ebony arrows. Ebony war axe of holy light. Level 40 undead flea. Wow. And then helmet of water breathing. Increases damage dealt with two handers by 25%. Destruction spells are 18% less. And increases your stamina. And renders you immune to most paralysis effects. And we're over encumbered. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, strange scroll, axe of souls, staff of frenzy, two spectral warhounds, thousand gold, conjure shelter. We're just taking everything at this point because we're over encumbered. Look at all of this stuff. Yeah, we'll take everything, right? Ring of extreme conjuration, extreme conjuration. Ebony mace of terror sends everything at level, uh, up to level 35 fleeing. Ebony curious of health, look at that. Look at the health. And then a silver arrow. Wow. All right. That's pretty freaking awesome. So we're gonna talk with Barbus. We're gonna see what he wants. And I think that's going to be the end of our episode. Woof, that's all you have to say now? All right. Uh, Lord Vile, I have request of you. By all means, let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. 
They were suffering so from vampirism and begging Ow. for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. So, <laughs> what's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? Um... Let's see. Uh, an end to the civil war that plagues my land. That's a pretty good one. Uh, nah, I'm just here to reunite you with the dog. It's pretty interesting, uh, so. That insufferable pup. Forget it. Request denied. No deal. No I'm deal. I'm glad to be rid of him. Even if it does mean I'm stuck in this pitiful shrine in the back end of nowhere. <laughs> well... Perhaps there is a way he could earn his place back at my side? Maybe. But no promises. Alright, what's the offer? Barbara, shut up. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached. No messy surprises. At least not for you. Hmm. As I recall, it's resting in Brian Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. Okay. That seems simple enough. Let's see what Barbas has to say about it. Uh, what's the story with the... The Rufal Axe? Or... He didn't tell me the name, did One he? One of Clavicus's little Jess, a wizard named Sebastian Lord, had a daughter who worshipped her seed. When the daughter became a werewolf, it drove Sebastian over the edge. He couldn't stand to see his little girl take on such a bestial form. The wizard wished for the ability to end his daughter's curse. <laughs> Clavicus gave him an axe. Well, that's one way to do it. Stop following me! No, the dog can follow me. All right, that, that's gonna be the end of our episode. So we got a bunch of new awesome loot, which is pretty exciting. We got to speak with Clavicus Vile, and what we'll do is, I don't know, we'll, um, how how close are we to our next location? Let's, let's take a look here. Deja's best friend. Oh my God, all right, we, <laughs> We won't be doing that as our next quest, but if we make our way up to Solitude, most likely for Meridia, well, we'll wander over there too. So I'll figure out what our next step is going to be. Thank you all so much for hanging out. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.